Hey traders, welcome back to the Modest Money Channel. Today, I'm diving into a head-to-head -head comparison of two heavyweights in the investment research world, Morningstar and The Motley Fool. Both have built a reputation for providing professional-level insights to retail investors like us, but which one is the best fit for you? That's what I'm going to try to answer for you. Stick around to find out. Now, we all know that when it comes to investing, the tools and research you use could make or break your success. You could go with free stock picks from questionable sources, do all the research yourself, or invest a little money each month in the recommendations made by premium services from trusted names like Morningstar or The Motley Fool. Today, we're going to compare these two top services side by side to see which one might be the perfect match for your investment style. Let's get into it. I'll start with The Motley Fool. This is a globally recognized investment platform that's been around since 1993 founded by the Gardner brothers, Tom and David. It's best known for its flagship service, Stock Advisor, which focuses on identifying high potential growth stocks. The Motley Fool's approach is all about combining in-depth qualitative and quantitative research to find stocks with massive long-term growth potential. What's great about The Motley Fool is its simplicity. You get easy to digest information and straightforward monthly stock picks that are perfect for novice investors or anyone who doesn't have the time to wade through tons of data. If you love hand-picked stock recommendations, The Motley Fool might be for you, and their track record speaks for itself, with returns that have significantly outperformed the S&P 500 over the years. If you're someone looking to make moderate risk investments or build a portfolio focused on beating market returns, The Motley Fool could be a fantastic choice. Now, let's talk about Morningstar, another giant in the investment research world. Motley Fool has been around for a long time, but still not as long as Morningstar. Founded in 1984 by Joe Mansueto, Morningstar is a leading provider of independent investment research and analysis. They're all about deep dives and detailed insights, which makes them ideal for experienced investors who want to make informed decisions backed by thorough research. Morningstar takes a different approach from The Motley Fool. While The Motley Fool focuses on giving you a few stock picks each month, Morningstar gives you access to an extensive range of data across stocks, ETFs, and mutual funds. They're known for their proprietary rating systems, like the well-known star rating for mutual funds and the analyst ratings for stocks. All right, let's get into the nitty-gritty of what sets The Motley Fool and Morningstar apart, because both platforms bring some unique tools to the table, and it really depends on what kind of investor you are. I'll start by really digging into the features that make The Motley Fool stand out, because there's a lot to love here if you're looking for clear guidance and solid stock picks. If you were familiar with The Motley Fool's offerings a few years ago, this will all be news to you. They have revamped their offerings and packaged their four most popular scorecards into one package, called Motley Fool Epic. So how epic is it really? Pretty epic, in my opinion, for a number of reasons. I'll start by talking about their flagship service, Stock Advisor. This is the bread and butter of The Motley Fool, and it's designed to be incredibly straightforward. Every month, you get two new stock picks. These aren't just random selections, they're carefully chosen by The Motley Fool's team of analysts who are constantly scouring the market for opportunities. And trust me, these guys know what they're doing. Stock Advisor has outperformed the S&P 500 by more than 749% since its inception over 20 years ago. That's a track record that's hard to ignore. What I really like about Stock Advisor is that it's not just about telling you what to buy, it's also about helping you understand why you're buying it. You get a deep dive into the rationale behind each pick, complete with thorough research reports, risk assessments, and potential growth scenarios. To me, this is super valuable because it means you're not just blindly following advice, you're actually learning about the market and what makes a stock a smart choice. Then there's the Best Buys Now list. This feature is like having a short list of the top stock picks ready at any given time. If you're looking to make an investment today and don't want to wait for the next monthly picks, this list has got you covered. It's constantly updated to reflect the potentially best opportunities in the market, so you're always in the know about which stocks are worth a look right now. I find this especially helpful when you have some cash to invest and you're not sure where to put it. Just check the Best Buys Now and you're set. Another exciting offering by The Motley Fool is Motley Fool Rule Breakers. If you're someone who loves the thrill of high-growth stocks, this is where the magic happens. Rule Breakers focuses on companies with innovative products, disruptive technologies, or unique business models that could lead to massive growth. Think of investing in companies like Amazon, Tesla, or NVIDIA. In their early days, 
Rule Breakers is all about finding the next big thing. It's perfect if you have a bit of a risk appetite and want to be ahead of the curve. I love this feature because it feels like you're on a treasure hunt for the next breakout star in the market. Now, if you're more interested in smaller, lesser known companies with the potential to outperform, you've got to check out Hidden Gems. This service focuses on uncovering those under the radar companies that have the fundamentals to succeed, but are still under the radar and the mainstream finance media hasn't caught on to yet. Hidden Gems is all about finding those diamonds in the rough, the stocks that could turn into major winners over the long term. I think this is fantastic for those who like to brag about getting in early before everyone else jumps on board. Me, guilty as charged. The last scorecard included in the Motley Fool epic is their dividend investor. If you're looking for a more conservative, income-focused approach, this service zeroes in on stocks that offer consistent, reliable dividends. It's a great way to build a portfolio that generates regular cash flow, perfect for those nearing retirement or anyone who loves the idea of earning while you grow. I personally think this is a great complement to any growth strategy, balancing out the high-risk, high-reward picks with some solid, dependable income. Those were the four separate offerings that they packaged into the Motley Fool Epic, but there are other features included. The Motley Fool's Game Plan Plus and Portfolio Strategies offer a more tailored approach than their four subscriptions that each offer their own approach. Whether you're a cautious investor, prefer moderate risks, or like to be aggressive, these features help guide you on how to allocate your investments to align with your specific goals. It's like having a personalized roadmap for your investing journey. The Game Plan Plus Hub is loaded with content and tools to help you craft your own strategy. And with the Portfolio Strategies feature, members get a clear breakdown of which stocks to buy, in what proportions, and when to rebalance their portfolio. This is such a valuable tool if you're someone who wants a bit more structure and guidance in their investing strategy. All in all, The Motley Fool really offers a wide range of services that cater to different investor needs. Whether you're a newbie looking for straightforward picks, a growth seeker hunting for the next big thing, or a retiree interested in steady dividend income, there's something here for everyone. Okay, enough about The Motley Fool. If you're someone who loves to dig deep into the details and explore every facet of your investments, then Morningstar, is where you might want to be. One thing that Morningstar is renowned for is their star rating system. The Morningstar star rating is a great starting point, a one to five star ranking that quickly tells you how a mutual fund or ETF is performing compared to its peers based on risk-adjusted returns. It's like having a cheat sheet for quality assessment at your fingertips. This star rating system helps me quickly look through stocks without wasting my time on the duds. Personally, if it doesn't have a Morningstar rating of four or five stars, I don't investigate the stock any further, but that's me. Another favorite feature of mine is the Portfolio X-Ray tool. Think of it as an MRI for your portfolio. It goes beyond just listing your holdings. It digs deep into your entire portfolio to show exactly how diversified or not you are, even down to the individual stocks held within your mutual funds or ETFs. This tool is a game changer if you want to make sure you're not unknowingly putting all your eggs in one basket. Morningstar also offers both quantitative ratings and analyst ratings. The quantitative ratings give you a data-driven view, while the analyst ratings provide a qualitative assessment. This dual approach gives you both the hard numbers and the expert opinion to really understand an investment's potential. And if you're looking to sharpen your skills, their educational resources are top-notch. We're talking webinars, investing guides, and comprehensive courses that cover everything from the basics to more advanced strategies. Whether you're new to investing or a seasoned pro, you'll find something to help you up your game. Now let's talk pricing, because let's be honest, cost is always a factor. The Motley Fool Stock Advisor comes in at a reasonable $199 per year, which is already a pretty good deal. But here's the sweet part. If you use the link in the description, you can snag that first year for as low as $99. That's a fantastic entry point, especially if you're looking for straightforward stock picks that have a track record of beating the market. I discussed the Motley Fool Epic throughout this video, which is priced a bit more spendy at $499, but don't worry, I have your back. The link in the description will get you Motley Fool Epic at $319 for the first year. On the other hand, Morningstar Investor costs $249 annually, which is priced right in between Motley Fool Stock Advisor and Motley Fool Epic. But again, 
I got your back with a discount code. If you use the Modest Money exclusive discount code MM50, you can get it down to $199 for the first year. And they offer a seven day free trial, which is a great way to try it out without committing financially. Considering the depth of research and tools they provide, this discounted price will feel like a bargain, especially if you're looking for a more hands-on approach. So, which one offers better value? I wish I could give you a definitive answer, but it really comes down to what kind of investor you are. I'm after simplicity and quick picks, so I personally give the slight edge to either of the Motley Fool subscriptions. But if you're looking for a deep dive into data, tools for comprehensive analysis, and educational resources, Morningstar is probably the better choice. So, which platform should you go for? It really boils down to your available time and how deep you want to dive, as I just discussed. But it also depends on your personal investing style. If you're a newbie or prefer a straightforward, no-nonsense strategy, The Motley Fool is a fantastic choice. Their stock advisor service offers clear, actionable picks that help you get started or build a portfolio that's geared for growth. It's ideal if you want expert stock recommendations without sifting through mountains of data. But if you're someone who loves getting into the weeds, understanding the nitty gritty, and building your own strategy, Morningstar is your go-to. With its range of research tools, in-depth analysis, and coverage of stocks, ETFs, and mutual funds, Morningstar is a great fit for the hands-on, detail-oriented investor. So, in the end, both The Motley Fool and Morningstar offer great value, and you can't go wrong with either. What do you think? Which one feels like the right fit for you? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss out on our latest insights. Happy investing!